Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm Ryan Green, and I'm joined by Sean McGurr, RVP of AI Strategy for me at Data IQ. Sean, great to have you on the program. You recently released research around UK enterprises in everyday AI. Can you provide some background for the audience watching and any key findings? Thank you for having me. Uh, at our own conference in June, we surveyed the respondents and we asked them who has the tools and training that they need to deliver value from AI. And they said that 70% of data teams have the right tools and technology, which is great, but there's still an interesting 30% gap there. Right. Uh, even more interesting is they said only 40% of business facing people outside core data teams actually have the tools and training that they need to make. <sighs> only 40%? Yeah. yeah. Interesting, you know, in, in similar perspective, I want to get kind of macro trends. What are you noticing specifically in AI and machine learning? The interesting thing about the 40% is that for the past many decades, there's been a constant move to what, you know, we all call democratization, right? Right. Putting more of these tools, more of these techniques in the hands of, of the business. And it's been called many things, business intelligence, self-service. The analytics. key phrases. <laughs> now citizen data science. Uh, and yet, still only 40% of business users have the tools and training that they need to make the most of data. And that's, that's why Data IQ exists, to close that gap between the 40% and the 70% and then, you know, everyone. You know, I want to stick with this, you know, concept of collaboration. Since 2013, Data IQ has been empowering organization-wide collaboration. What have been the largest takeaways and how are you adapting to meet your ever-changing needs for your clients? I think the thing that I learned the most in 18 months at Data IQ is just how much careful investment is required beyond the technology. Right. And I think one of the reasons that we're stuck at that 40% as, as an industry is yeah. that uh, different waves of technology have been sold to this problem and they keep getting stuck. Mm -hmm. And what, what really energizes me and what I've learned the most from our customers is how much they invest in adoption programs, training, building communities, the things that Snowflake talks about as well, to actually get the business to take advantage of the technology that's out there. You know, I'm glad you mentioned Snowflake. We're in London at the Data Cloud World Tour. The buzz, the excitement is all around us. What are you hearing specifically, Sean, and what excites you most about the future? I think the people who are more on the leading edge of AI, so the people who already have maybe quite mature data teams and are looking to get a huge amount of value out of, out of their data with AI, they're really excited by Snowpark and all of the things that are making it easier to do machine learning inside inside Snowflake, right? It used to be, even with Snowflake, you had to move it out. You did all this great stuff, right. <laughs> but when we want to do that stuff, we got to move it out. And that's a really hard sell. That's a real pain to do. And so, and that's where something that we lean into as a product, integrate deeply with that to make it easy for the data experts to do that work, but also to make sure that we're keeping the entry barrier lower. We don't want new things that are really exciting to only be the preserve of just right. the experts, and that's what we're in the business of doing. You know, it's great to get your perspective where things are at currently. I want to know what's next specifically for DataIQ, and where do you think AI is going here into you know, the next years to decades to come? Uh, another interesting result from that research to tie it back was 25% uh, of respondents said that they know that their company is not doing anything to make AI used more responsibly. Interesting. It's so, a very firm stance. <laughs> it's a very firm stance. I don't know what you can infer about the other 75. The other 75, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Two ways to look at that number. Right. One is terrifying. So there's a bunch of people who are relative data experts. They're coming to our conference and they know that no one's doing anything to make AI use more responsible, but we know regulatory interest is increasing. Consumers increasingly want to know, I'm the subject of an algorithmic decision. I want to understand how that decision was made. Positively, if we'd run the same survey the last time we ran that live conference in 2019, I think vastly almost no different. Was, almost right. no one was thinking about it. So that's a that's a trend that's really uh, you know getting attention. The more value you create out of data with AI, the more rigor you have to apply because otherwise you're just creating risk at the same time as you're trying to create value. And so you know, and I and I think it's so great to have everyone back together, the ecosystem together to share, to collaborate, to push, you know, to new possibilities down the road. Sean, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. I'm Ryan Green, we'll see you soon.